Healthcare heroes from across the U.S. continue to travel to New York to help the sick in some of the hardest hit spots of the coronavirus pandemic. It's unbelievable how they've held the line up for a few weeks. It looked like our hospital system literally could be overwhelmed and our doctors, nurses, healthcare workers held the line. Many of them miles from home. Mayor Bill de Blasio reassuring the workers they are protected for another week, but calling on more supplies for the weeks ahead. We need to keep protecting and supporting the healthcare personnel, keep the hospitals strong. We need those PPEs, the personal protective equipment. We've got enough. Here's the reality in New York City. This week we're starting. We have enough for this week. We do not have enough for next week. We've done better mm -hmm. on the ventilators, thank God, because we see fewer people uh, surging into the ICUs. Westchester County Executive George Latimer explains a free countywide initiative for those who put their lives on the line to treat patients. So far, over 400 free room nights are available, plus additional rooms at deeply discounted rates at several Westchester hotels, which are each associated with a nearby hospital. It's a very generous thing that they're doing, and uh, hopefully when we restart the engine of our economy, all of us in Westchester County will remember that generosity and show our appreciation for what they're doing. And there's also reports from hospital leaders around the region who are thinking about providing bonuses to these healthcare workers, but no final decision on that has been made. For more information on the hotel chains that are helping out our healthcare workers, you can head to our website, pix11news.com. We're live in White Plains, Westchester County. I'm Rebecca Solomon, Pix11 News.